Hello everyone, Stephanie here. If you've ever wondered how you can do this in Visual Studio Code, run your JavaScript file in the terminal, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. The first thing you need to do is to go to Google and then search for Node.js. The first result that you're going to see is the official website of Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime that lets you run JavaScript code outside your browser. Like in this case, in Visual Studio Code, we were using the terminal. To download Node, you can choose either one of these versions. LTS means long-term support, and this is the version recommended for most users. This version is the most current version, so it has all the latest features. You can choose either one of them. Let's say that I choose this one. I click on this button and I start downloading it. You can also choose other downloads, okay? For other operating systems like Mac OS. Click on Show in Folder, and then you will see the executable file in your Downloads folder. Double click on it, and you will see Preparing to Install, and then you see Welcome to the Node.js Setup Wizard. The Setup Wizard will install Node.js on your computer. You click on Next, you read the terms of the license, you accept them, then you click on Next and you select where you want to install Node. You can keep the default path or you can customize it by clicking here on Change. Then select Next. Then you will see Custom Setup. If you want to customize anything about the installation, now is the time to do it. Just make sure that you have this included, okay? Add to Path. This is what lets you use the Node command in the terminal and that will be essential to run your code. So then you click on Next, and these are just some additional questions for tools that you may or may not want to install. Then read them carefully and check this checkbox if you need to. Then click on Next, and you will see that you need to click Install to begin the installation. You will have to grant permission to install that on your computer. You will see the progress bar, and then you can check if Node was installed successfully. Let me show you how you can do that. I already have it installed, so I interrupted the installation, but you should install it completely. And then, if you are on Windows, you should go here to search and search for command prompt. Select this option, open your command prompt like this, and then Write Node dash dash version. This will show you your current version of Node. In my case, I currently have version 16.15.1 installed. Okay, so if that works, then everything worked correctly and you have Node installed in your computer. So now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. If you create a JavaScript file and you write some JavaScript code like this, console.log, hello world, you should see that output in the terminal when you run your program. To open the terminal, you click on Control and the backtick on Windows and then write this command, node, and then the name of the file that you want to run. Press Enter and voila! Right here, you can see the output. Always make sure that you are right here in the folder where the file is located, okay? If this path is not the path to the folder, then this command may not work if the file is not directly within this folder. What you have to do to do that is just open that folder with file, open folder, select the folder, and then run this command. Awesome! Now you know how to run JavaScript in Visual Studio Code in the terminal.